Tulemi is just like Pele. He was a star, but Brazil won't feed him in today's match. Peter B says, Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The candidates for the All Progressive Congress EPC candidate for president, Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has been compared to Labour Party's candidate, P2B, to Brazilian, has been compared by Labour Party candidate, P2B, to Brazilian footballer Edson Arantos Dona, Dona Cimento, better known as Pele, who is regarded as one of the game's greatest players of, of all time. In an interview that TV personality Chude Jidomo posted on Tuesday, Mr. B made this claim. In this interview, Peter B acknowledged that Tinubu is a politician who has made contribution to former Nigerian government that need expression. However, he said, just as Pella would not be included if Brazil were to play a game today, just because politicians like Tinubu fared well does not mean that they should remain there forever. He declared, I respect Tinubu for who he is as my respected elder brother. He deserves to be acknowledged because he has already made contribution in one manner or another. The only thing I am saying is that the situation we are in right now, we need someone whose character we can trust as well as the skill, capacity and devotion. Like Brazil right now, they acknowledge that pearl but wants a star, but they will not use him in today's game. Oh, this parable. Exactly. See, eh? Tonobu is somebody who you cannot talk about Nigeria's democracy without talking about Tonobu. Tunubu is that kind of person that he fought to a standstill Nigerian democracy. You cannot say when everybody was sh they were shaking their jelly face, Tunubu came out. You know, he said things. He was a father of democracy. He came out those days. Now he even charge us up that time. I know what I'm talking about. But Shugbon, I get that before. You know, be property. I used to be a very powerful or prayerful Christian or Muslim. What of Nanko? That is the Coco. No matter how Ronaldo play, 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 play today. And the next 10 issue, bon, they no go, they carry him, they go pitch again. That is the truth. No matter how Messi you play today, in the next 10, 15, 20 years. He no go fee go. Yes, it will be. His name has already been written in history. Like ah, I'm all this guy and a player. He's the greatest of all time. But see, just I used to say, no champion can remain a champion forever. One day the sun will set on your time, and you are going to retire. Then somebody else will come in and take your place. Na so he be. Tunubu did right to at the talk, not just in Lagos. Tunubu did some things. Sincerely, if you're somebody who do not want to be biased, you will acknowledge the fact that the guy, the man tried. He tried. What he did, I uh, know his name is written in Nigeria's history. But now, to come out now, now, presently, ah, uh, oh God, you know, work, work he. That's just the truth, man. Oh, hmm? That's the truth. But a lot of people will not see it the way he's saying it. Okay, Peter B has nothing tangible in his head. He must be brain dead. That is why he tends to base all this campaign majorly on Asiwaju Bola Tunambu. Is Bola Tunambu the problem confronting Nigeria's people? Peter B has not issued to has not issued to devote his campaign on apart from Tunambu. Tunambu will be okay, Peter B has no agenda. No plans or programs or how to solve the multiple problems confronting the Nigerian people. No plans on how to better the lives of Nigerian people and put food on the table of the masses other than to rile up and rattle his obedience, IPOB and unknown government supporters and their antics and attacks on Asiwaji Tinubu. Peter B is just a divisive leader that would not be good for the world for, for the well being of Nigeria. Then he said that then he said Yoruba against him because he wanted to build a port in the states. What idiots like him may not know is that Yoruba are not happy and totally against the mass movement of millions of other Nigerians into their territory. 
It is like an annoying intrusion into our life that is not welcome nor light, and most especially the evils. The earlier the federal government build the ports, not only in Nemo State, but in every part of the country, the better, which will facilitate the mass movement of non yoruba back to the state of origin, so that the Southwest will build up the Southwest of a dream and have the peace required in our territory. Let me say it's uncle. Nobody, everybody supports your motion. Uh, and I have said it severally. No matter how frustrated you be, no matter what they say about your candidate, and you feel it's an insult, eh? And you want Congo hospital to go collect bed for sickness when they worry you, they worry another person. Uncle, when you are coming out to give your opinion, make sure you don't sound so frustrated. Don't sound frustrated. Be civilized. Come outside and air your views in a very calm and civilized manner. Thank you, sir. Now, about what you said about the influx of non yorubas or God, not be everybody they talk is with its work. You are speaking on your own accord. You are giving your opinion. No drag everybody. No drag and one yoruba. See? No. Do not drag. On the contrary, there are people who are blended well. Why do we say, why do you always say it is the yorubas that are, how do I even put it now? There are so, that, 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 when it comes to, Try. When it comes to, you know, welcoming people, there are these kind of people who are very hospitable, hospitable both in tribe and the religion. You won't come, come now, come talk, say, because if you're supposed to be a particular candidate, say it with your full chest. Yes. Uh, not be all the Yorubas who come and say, come and agree with what you talk now. That's just what I'm saying. APC and PDP started the first. None of their political talk passes without mentioning Labour Party. Oh, before I continue, also remember that it's only P two B that comes out, comes out and speaks to the people about what he intends to do. In fact, who brought this issue of come and tell us what you can do and prove and show how we can do it? Now, Oga Peter, Oga Peter Mani, he's the one. He's the one that brought it out. So you can't come out and say. He is the one that comes out. Shubon, APC, PDP, so I have never seen. Maybe you can bring all the interview, you can drop the link, you know, in the comment section, or if they have ever come out and tell this how they'll be solving Nigeria's problem. They never talk. They have not started talking. They are just singing us rhymes. I will do this. I will do that. Give us step by step. How you arrived at two plus, um, you want to say two plus two, then in bracket open x minus y is equals to eight. Give us the answer, work it out. Don't tell us the answer is 10, don't tell us the answer is 24 or two. Tell us the answer to the give us work, work it out for mathematic exam. You don't just come and write like English, you just, just write the answer, you show how you got the answer. Let them come out to tell us how they're going to be, you know, getting to that solution, that problem. How they're going to implement it. That's what we're talking about. All right. On those notes, we have come to the end of a new.